Hey friends, it's Samarillis. Welcome back to another episode of Wild Season. And it seems like someone's at the door, so let's go check it out. A gift? <gasps> Is it my birthday? It's spring 19? Well, you certainly don't see anyone. A gift? I'm not friends with anyone. Who would give me a gift? Rosalind didn't plan a bomb or something, did she? I wouldn't put it past her. Well, um, I can drop kick it, put the box to my ear, or shake it. I'm not gonna be violent, let's listen for ticking. Well, do you hear anything? Hmm. You notice a note slapped on top. Dear new farmer lady, it is I, the great Jack Brandt. Who is Jack Brandt? I forgot. The other day, while looking through some carpentry magazines, I saw the perfect axe for my apprentice fits. It had his eyes, you know? His heart! <laughs> okay, so he's the carpentry guy, and I guess he's my only friend because I gave him and his apprentice wood. I really love their, their carpentry stuff. So I ordered this perfect specimen of an axe, and what did I receive instead? A hammer. Can you believe it? A hammer. Now, hammers have their place in carpentry, of course, but this one doesn't have the same spirit, you know? Even worse, they won't let me return it. Oh my gosh. So, is this event activated on being friends with the carpenters? Or like, by chopping a certain amount of wood? Or like, if it's on your birthday? Man, if you had a late birthday, you wouldn't get a hammer for a very long time if it was based on that. So, I honestly don't know. Or maybe it's just something that happens on Spring 19. I it's a mystery, I don't know. But I got to thinking, what poor soul needs a hammer? And, well, I thought of you, Doc. I thought the doctor. <laughs> oh, they still think of the doctor. So I present you this hammer. Use it well, future wood lover. Why would a doctor need a hammer? Why would he think of a doctor who needs a hammer? <laughs> Where in the world did you decide to move to? Well, you might as well open it. Yes, I finally have a hammer. Now I can plan even more stuff. Wait, Jack wrote something on the back of this letter. P.S. This hammer can be used to break rocks on your farm. It should help clear up that old place quite a bit, wouldn't you say? It'll have to be upgraded before you attempt to smash any big game, though. Oh, and if you want to engage in a poor man's sport, there's a mine to the west of town. Nothing's better than cutting wood, though, so get yourself an axe soon, alright, Doc? I got an axe. From the wonderful Jessica. In any case, you now have a hammer! Congratulations! I would not have guessed... him having... Okay, how do I... What is the tutorial? Is it in my notebook? Oh, I have to go to the mine. Okay, that's the quest I have to do. Did anything happen yesterday? Nothing happened. Nope. Nothing happened. Okay. So, I'm going to... Okay, it's spring 19, so I still have plenty of time to um, plant more turnips. So, I'm going to chop this down. I'm going to chop all of these down. Oops, I missed, and I wasted stamina. like the hoe or the axe where it shows you where you're about to chop. Or maybe I, I just can't notice the subtle. I think actually it does. It has a very subtle tint to it. Okay, let's scatter some seeds. Oops. Uh, nine. Let's stand in the middle. Seeds. Yes. And then we will use three and then water all of these. Man, I'm going to be using a lot of energy today. Oh, I missed. Come on. I have limited stamina. Man, all of a sudden you have so many things to do. Hey, it's Steven. Steven! Salutations. Shoot! Okay. Ah! Please take some rest so that you'll be prepared to face any and all challenges ahead of you. That's ominous. Steven, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, I give up. Well, it was nice talking to you, I guess. Hey, it's Diego. Okay, I'm not gonna chase people. No, I'm not gonna chase people can't to focus. Honestly, I feel like I should focus on uh, getting rid of any more stones and um, cutting any more places that I can plant turnips. So I need three by three squares or nine squares total so I can plant all the turnips I have and then hopefully make a lot more money. Okay, I have to remember I have to save at least one turnip. I have to save two turnips. Give it to Jessica and her mom, Jane, and hopefully they like them. It might just be a waste of money though. That would be sad. Okay. So I cannot uh, break any big rocks, but I can break these. So let's do five, and let's hammer away. Stamina up, yay! Ooh, tired. Okay, let's pace ourselves. Let's make sure that we can, we can do this. Is this three? One, two, nope, I need one more. <laughs> I don't even get like gravel or something. It's literally just like, hey, 
you smash the spark with your hammer, but it's, you still get stones. Okay. I probably should have tried to, like, do it where I've already hoed the ground. I like an orderly life like this. <laughs> I can use that as my next plot. Okay. Let's plant more seeds. Even though I wasted a couple before, that's fine. do the mining thing later, right? Like, I'm sure the quest will carry over to the next day, perhaps. So let's keep watering things. I've never really grown anything in real life before. I mean, I've had... Okay, well, I have two plants that I've grown myself before. The first one was in fifth grade for the science fair. And my experiment, it was um, to learn how to use, like, the hypothesis method or whatever, and, like, scientific testing. So... My test was, what, under what kind of light do plants grow best under? So I had a very unscientific um, study where I had things, uh, little things of plastic, which were unscientifically different thick, or like thicknesses? Is that the right word? But like, okay, so like I used like a blue garbage bag, so that was a pretty thick plastic, and then also like a like saran wrap or something, so that was pretty thin plastic. But like, the idea was because, um, like, let's see what kind of light that plants like to use. And my thought was, maybe they'll like, you know, a certain color light better than the other ones. And it turns out they like red light because, as it turns out, um, plants are green because they can't use green light. Like, so they're absorbing everything else besides green, and they're reflecting what they can't use, which is green light. So red, which is the most opposite of green, is what plants do best under. Actually, I don't remember now. It might pink is what I use. Pink and, oh, I missed, come on. Pink and the clear plastic. I forget which one was better. I would assume the clear plastic would be better just because, I almost used a hoe on that, just because, um, I mean, that's what light is. Like, it's all the colors. Totally stone level one achieved. But I remember the pink did very, very well. Ooh, I'm tired. Okay, maybe I'll just get this one last square in. But that was one time, and the plants I ended up using were these, like, daisy wildflowers. And then after my science experiment, I planted them in the front yard. You know, as a little kid in, like, elementary school, I was just like, Oh, it would be cool if, like, you know, my science experiment could be planted out here. And my mom, who used to do a little bit of gardening, she probably agreed because she was like, Oh, they probably won't live very long, and they won't... Come on! I wasted a row. <sighs> Well, I'll just have to make the best. This is what happens when you get distracted. <laughs> but my mom probably allowed it because she was like, oh, you know, these plants probably won't last long. They won't mess up the aesthetic of my garden. So to be fair, my mom mostly liked the aesthetic of like white, pink, and blue flowers because we had like a pale blue house. So, um, and my wildflowers, they were white. Not like we knew it at the time, or at least I didn't, I don't remember. It probably said on the seed package, <laughs> probably. That would make sense. Please, I just want it. I just want two more. Can I risk it? I'm gonna risk it. And then not do anything else the rest of today. Okay, let me just water my plants. Wait, okay, let me just... Down these seeds. Carefully lay these seeds down. Don't pass out. Are you kidding? Come on. That was totally highlighted over the nine square. Okay, whatever. I wasted seeds, it's fine. Life happens, let's just water them and get on with the day. So I planted those daisies in the very front of our yard and they grew like weeds. Like to this day, probably more than a decade later, I would say, those flowers are still there and they are still growing strong. And it's kind of funny because they have a fairly short like blooming season. So after they die, they leave behind these huge skeletons. Okay, finally it's empty. This watering can can actually hold up a pretty large amount. And like, I don't water them or like take care. Okay, yes, yes. Like, I don't water and I don't take care of those like plants and they just thrive. And it's great um, because I think they're very beautiful when they're blooming. And that is the story of the very first plants that I, oh my gosh, I am on the edge of passing out. Um, the very first plants that I grew, I guess. Um, so that's that. I will not be doing mining today and I don't know where to buy food. Like at the bar, like they don't let me buy any food, so I can't even try testing out if my stamina gets repaired. 
uh, my fish is still here because I put it in after 8 o'clock. Um, hold on. I have lots of stuff. Okay, never mind. This might be my, my last batch because if they take four days, then they'll be ready on 21st. No, 23rd. Actually, I might be able to do one more after this if they take four days, but probably not for the other. Well, we'll see. But I am totally out of stamina, and one more tiny thing will make me pass out. So let's just spend the rest of today talking to people. Well, I just... <laughs> I guess I just spent that whole time talking about, like, the one time I grew plants. Well, there were two times. But I'll tell this, the other story later because my throat is a little dry. <laughs> I'm telling that big story about my wildflowers. My babies! Um, a couple of unfinished watercolor landscapes. You can see hints of how pretty they'll be when they're finished. So maybe Lily also likes art. Specifically watercolors. So if I can find anything like that, I will give it to her. Wow, she has like an easel and everything. That's lovely. Watercolor is honestly one of my favorite art forms. Because I'm not very good at watercolor. Because I make a lot of mistakes. And look at the, Her room is so groovy. It's kind of funny. Um, I make a lot of mistakes, and I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, I just, I really like doing things well, and, and I really like Lily's decor, look at that glass table and the green chairs, it's very cute, and she's like a flat screen TV too, flower making is a good business, looks like there's a chess game in progress, oh, she likes chess, too, there's also a piano in her room, so maybe she likes music, chess, Lily's showing that she has both the artistic and logical side, what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I totally lost my train of thought. So, oh well, I guess I'll remember when I go back and edit this video. Or you guys can probably tell me in the comments what exactly I was talking about and I can finish it in some other video. But yeah, I spent that whole time talking about my plant story and I'll share the other one I have later. But if you guys have any plant stories, just let me know in the comments and we can chat about plants. And if you have a brown thumb or a green thumb, I don't know what other thumbs there can be. How's it going? Hey, Vince, are you more friendly towards me because they gave you all that wood? I have so many things to do today. Everyone, the upgrades called Jack. Yeah, I know. Have a good day chopping wood. Thank you, except I'm exhausted. Oh, how do I get my energy back up aside from sleeping? I don't want to talk to Jack. He's all the way upstairs. Oh, hey. Where are you going? Hi. Hey, that's a little different than usual. He was going like very slightly diagonally. Please, I just want to talk. What a fast runner. Huh? Oh, I didn't see you there. Need something? No. Whatever, Rick. I was just in Lily's house. Let's just follow. Oh, hey, Lily. Oh, good afternoon, Maribel. His name is not Rick. His name is Edward. Jeez, I'm getting them confused. <laughs> is she off on Thursdays? Why is she here at like 4 o'clock? I would assume she has regular business hours. I was gonna say, like, let's just follow Edward around. Why not, right? Oh, here's Barry. Hey, Denise. Oh, I forgot to put turnips to ship. Oh, uh, hi. It's so hot today. Okay, I have a quest today. The quest is to give Jessica and her mom, Jane, the turnips. And see if they like them. Otherwise, ship them. Because Jessica talked about turnips, and Mom made them into a salad. So maybe they'll like them? I don't know. I just want them to be nice. April is... I bet April is best friends with... Oh, there's Maya. I bet April is best friends with... Hey, it's... Gavin? Whoa! He just teleported! I can't do that! Gavin! Teach me your mad parkour skills! Jeez. Okay, they're both here. That's perfect. transported but he ended up in the store. Here, Jessica. Um, thanks. She didn't like it! <laughs> Is Jane gonna like it? For me? Thanks, I guess. No, I wasted two turnips on ungrateful people! I 
thought Jane would like it at least because she likes cooking, so maybe she'd like raw ingredients. But that wasn't the case. I just wasted chocolate. Gavin, are you gonna say anything else? No? Nope. Okay. I tried pressing sprint to make the dialogue go faster and it didn't. <laughs> I know it's only six, but that's fine. Man, I just want to get enough money so I can get, like, a chicken. That would be nice. I'm sure mining will help. Man, my, my stamina is just so limited. It's very upsetting. I really need to get rid of stuff. I need to go fishing tomorrow so I can get rid of those worms. Hopefully I can make back 150 because that's how much I paid for the worms overall. For uh, the 15 worms. So I don't know how much the comet will be. I think the trout was only 29. I shipped. So, man, I bet if I could afford a cutting board, that would make the fish's value go up. I have too many items. What am I gonna do with these rocks and this lumber that I don't have a thing to store in? I should probably look up to see if someone has solved that problem. I just wanna make sure that I watered all my turnips. I guess the problem with like an indie game is that there might not be like extensive game facts or like game FAQs done on it. So I might have to rely with what's on like the board, the message board. I have too much wood. Oh, it's doing that weird thing where the icons aren't showing up, but I know I deposited wood. That one time that Steven said that sheep eat weeds, it just makes me like hesitant to get rid of weeds. But like, what if? What if sheep can just eat weeds? What if I don't have to cut grass for them? Maybe he was just kidding. Isn't it goats who are known for like not needing, like they can just eat weeds or like you see them in graveyards and stuff? I don't know. But in any case, um, between this episode and the next one, I'm gonna look up to see where the lumber shed is in Wild Season and then hopefully someone will have the answer for that. But until then, thank you for watching me play Wild Season. This has been Samarillas. I hope you have a great day and remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Bye-bye.